Hey everyone, today I wanted to do a tutorial on how you can make an embroidered button or pin. I've done an embroidered brooch in the past. It was a little mushroom brooch and I decided I wanted to do another little embroidery tutorial that you can make wearable. So what I'll be using today is the Sewology button cover um, kits. These basically come with a bunch of different parts here and I'll be using this at the end to assemble the button together. Some of these kits come with a an actual like button backing. Some of them will come with just a flat backing. You'll want to use something that's just a flat back um, because we're going to put a pin on it in the end. So you can use this if you just take pliers to take this out, but I happen to have some that were just blank on the back. So you'll also need some kind of pin. Um, you can get clasps at the craft store. And I also have some of my artiste thread that I reviewed a couple videos ago. I have all the colors of the rainbow I'll be using. You'll need some kind of like water soluble pen to draw on your pattern, an embroidery needle, some scissors and today I am using this nice mustard yellow cotton fabric and I'm just going to be embroidering it in a four inch hoop you don't need that much fabric for this obviously because the button that I the size that I got is like an inch or so but um, I find it's easier to work with my embroidery stand in a little bit larger of a hoop so your fabric button kit should either come with a cutout on the back or it'll come with a plastic ring. This is what you'll want to cut to size for your pattern. So the inner part is the going to be the top of the button, how, how much area you have. And then the outer part, the outer diameter is where you need to cut for the button to fit in the metal button casing. So I'm just gonna be using this, but I'm gonna go ahead and just draw my little rainbow shape onto the fabric. So once you trace your pattern, I'm just gonna go ahead and trace around this here. That way I know where I need to cut out when I'm done. So for this part of the process, I'm just going to be doing one line of back stitches for each color for the rainbow. All right, so I've done the rainbow. So now I'm just gonna do some French knots to make some clouds.
All right, so I'm done with my rainbow. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the hoop and I'm going to cut along the line that I traced earlier. And make sure that your trace that you're cutting like pretty exactly around this because the fabric that goes into the back of the button, if it's too much or too little, it's gonna be hard to assemble the button. So now you're gonna have four different pieces that you'll want to have handy. This will be the top of the button. Then this will be the back of the button. And these are two things that you'll need to actually assemble the button together. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is kind of start to place your um, fabric onto the top of the button. And what I like to do, this is going to be around this temporarily while you put the fabric tightly on the button. So I like to do it face up and squeeze it in there. And I tend to adjust the button um, if I feel like it's not centered. So I have it pressed down in there. And I think I like the way that looks. So let me just make sure that the fabric is evenly pulled and that it's even around the edges because you don't want part of the fabric to be too thin on one side because then it won't tuck into the button the right way. So once you have it the way you want it, you're going to push all of this fabric into like behind the button and you're going to place this this side up and this is kind of the most important part to set yourself up for success so you want to make sure that it's centered and that all of the fabric is tucked behind and you're going to use this piece to push this in so it's basically going to like fit in there and seat in there permanently. So it's, it's a pretty like firm thing that you have to do. Actually this one wasn't that bad. Push it a couple times to make sure that it's seated. Kind of push around the edges and then you can pop this out. And there's your button. I then secured a pin onto the back using some E600 glue, and I'm gonna let that sit overnight. And that's that. You can also rinse off some of the stencil before or after you assemble the button. Either way works. There's nothing that'll disintegrate or ruin the button if you make, get it wet. So you can also rinse off any extra stencils like you can see underneath the rainbow. I have a little bit of a blue stencil still. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more tips and tricks, you can visit my website, and I also have a bunch more tutorials on this channel. Thanks so much.